Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Let's jump into Playgrounds and let's get a, a little bit of a challenge going. So we're going to jump into our answers template. And obviously here, this is fantastic. This has got a fantastic little um, description of what it's actually doing. So it's talking about to use uh, the code show um, for output text, ask for input text, text. And then we can just run that code to see what it's like. So if I put in my name is Paul, press submit, you can see it says hi Paul. So that's fantastic. Um, I'll just stop that there. So a little challenge for you. And the challenge is this guys. If I wanted to keep the conversation going, let's say the next question we wanted to ask was, what is your favorite color? Um, let's see if you can actually keep the conversation going. So I'm gonna get you to pause this video, jump into Playgrounds, and just see what you actually come up with. And I'll come back in a minute and you can check to see how we did it. And we can check to see if you've done something similar, maybe a little bit differently, which is also fine. So pause this video and have a go. Okay, we're back in. So I'm gonna put in my text that I actually put in. And what I've actually got here, guys, is this here is my next part. So I actually said show. And what I wanted to do was the name first, which is what we're talking about. And then what is your favorite color? Then in the actual uh, input text box, we've got favorite color, and then it's obviously show name plus this is a great color, or this could be, let's change that. Um, let's say is, let's, let's, let's make this a little bit more interactive. Uh, let's go with, um, we need to obviously do it on this side. So uh, we could put in something like, uh, let's say uh, is, my fave color two, and we'll put our uh, speak to us there. And I'm just looking at what that is. Now I didn't really want name. I actually wanted um, probably favorite color. So let's put fave in there and see what that actually comes up with in regard to it. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a try with a different name. So I'm gonna run my code. It says, what's your name? Let's put in Ralph. Let's see how Ralph goes. Press submit. Hi, Ralph. Ralph, what is your favorite color? Oh, that's looking good. Uh, let's put in uh, blue and submit. And it says blue is my favorite color too. So that's great. Now there's a little bit of a pause there. Can you see that the blue is, is a little bit close. So let's go and fix that up. So we'll go in and just in front of the is, we'll just put a space. And what that'll do um, is actually give a space to it. So we'll actually get out of that. We'll run the code. Let's run it again. Let's say Bob this time. Bob, submit. Uh, hi, Bob. Bob, what is your favorite color? Uh, let's say green. Okay, submit. Green is my favorite color too. So we've got this great little conversation going all based on that initial code. And we're starting to explore um, all of the code that's associated with this conversation. It's just a great way of learning, great way of thinking, um, making mistakes, testing, uh, debugging, what went right, what went wrong, all that sort of thing. And I think this is one of the real benefits of Playgrounds, the new iOS app from Apple. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.